All right, everybody. Um, welcome back to the streams. I need to check a couple of things. Uh, so the audio is good, which is great start. Very good start. Um, anyway, welcome back, everybody. It's a it's a Saturday night. We're here with the Arsenal career. I'm all excited to get into this episode because. We might think the form's been bad, especially in the league, but realistically it has not even been that bad. Um, because just before I start the stream, I was looking, you know, kind of through everything as you do. And as you come along at the calendar, we've only lost one game and that was to City. Yeah, we lost in the Carabao Cup, but we're on about league form here. We've still lost like four games of our opening, what, like seven or eight, which isn't great. At seven, we've, yeah. So we've won two, lost one, and uh, drew four, which which isn't great. It's not great at all, really, when you think of it. Think of it. Uh, so we need to stop the draws, and basically every draw's been one-one as well, which is a bit of a bit of a piss take. Uh, Mighty Saints and Mason, welcome back to the streams, man. How are you today? How are you? Um, the new setup. The new setup is sick. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there should be a video coming out tomorrow or just next week sometime. On the new setup, um, I didn't film us setting it up and everything because I mean it took like five hours, like the whole setup and everything, um, because I was I was originally thinking of making the desk myself, um, but I just I'm not good with instructions basically. I know you get instructions, the instructions tell you step by step how to do it, but I just didn't trust myself with it. Uh, so I waited until my dad come back from work, and you know it was it was just a waiting game really. Um, but yeah, so I didn't film me building the desk, which was originally what I had planned. But tomorrow I will do a full on kind of like what I'd done a, a few months back with the setup video, where I do like cinematics of the desk. Um, I do all that kind of stuff, like a voiceover kind of thing. I'll probably end up doing something like that just to show you guys because I can show you some pictures all I want, but I think a video would be um, a lot better. But yeah, the new desk, well, I've just it's spoiled what it is now. I mean, it's a whole setup, I suppose, but the desk was the main thing that's changed everything, to be honest. Um, I also got a pop filter on the mic. I don't know if it makes a difference, does it? Um, I also got a pop filter. I don't know if the pop filter makes a difference. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, but yeah, there's a pop filter on the mic now. We'll see if it makes a difference. I don't think it will, but we'll see. Looks like I can't wait to see the video. Let's go, man. Let's go, Mighty Saints. I appreciate that. Um, so, let's uh, get into this episode. I was debating, because I, I, I was checking over the team before I started the stream, obviously. I was debating whether to put Lima, like, permanently in right back. So then I've got the opportunity to play some like, Smith or Elmas or Vieira. I'm not too sure. What do you guys think? Do I permanently take Tomiyasu out of the team or do I not I've been kind of stuck on it for a few minutes here I don't know whether to put Lima there and then say Elmas in centre midfield um, I can put Smith Rowe there play him a little further up so I can have Smith Rowe in the team uh, but then I feel like the midfield's a bit too attacking I'm not too sure I'm not too sure what to do because I think the midfield balances itself out if I have Lima in there with Thomas Party and Odegaard. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm really not sure. What What are you guys thinking? How's it going? Let's go, Kieran. Welcome back to the streams. Mind you, I'm excited. If you start the horror game after my stream, I'm excited to uh, watch you play through it. Oh yeah, people. We've had a ton of people have been going on about like horror stuff with this channel and everything I'm debating whether to buy a new horror game uh, so I can go through it on the channel because I think what's the, the only horror game we've been through I think was Outlast 2 um, and Outlast 2 done very well well people seem to enjoy it at least so I think I think I might go through uh, Outlast 2 again I was just checking if my keyboard works on the menus that doesn't what a shame right let's get into the first game then Crystal Palace who are bottom of the league I don't know why and they've, they've got a pretty solid team they're all playing Milovojevic and centre on centre back sorry not midfield um, I can't drop Jesus because of the form that he's in kind of because I kind of want to play Colo Moane 
Unless I'll change the two from now with Smith Rose better. Yeah, yeah. Probably starting in 11 and a half, 11 and a half. Well, I, should, I probably should be done by then, to be honest. I'll probably stream two, two and a half hours, so we'll see. Um, it just depends on how the stream goes, really. Oh, yeah, people, I've had a lot of pain with um, mon monetization as well and um, all that bollocks. Yesterday's stream got demonetized. I, I don't know why, and I'm still trying to figure out why it got demonetized. Um, there's this little thing you can do on YouTube Studio where YouTube will trim out the bit that has got copyrighted um, and then your video can get monetized off that. I've done that, but it's still demonetized. So I don't know what happened in yesterday's stream for that to happen. I trimmed out the bit that was copyrighted. I think it was, you know, when I was, when the walkout music started, um, Blue Moon against Manchester City. I think that's what got the stream demonetized because of the copyright which i knew it would but i've trimmed that bit out of the video so that bit's just not in the video anymore um and it's still demonetized so i don't know if youtube are just taking the piss with how long it takes to get this stuff back on track i'm not too sure so soon as long as you can five girls videos they will get views you know what Paz? if they're gonna get views i'll do it but i mean if you just want to see it as well if you just genuinely want to see it i suppose i can do it uh, right, I want Colo Moane in today, so he's going to play alongside Jesus up front. More Anelli, Saka on the wings. Canny team. Canny. Might go with An Anasio, though. Yep, I'm going to do it. Anasio in. Oh, they're two left footers. This is the issue that I had getting them in, but I'll just play them in right centre back anyway. For now. For now. Right, yeah, we're going. Crystal Palace. Let's get to it. Hopefully on the stream is so annoying. I haven't actually seen it. Happy to the I haven't seen it yet. So I only joined your stream like just before because you said um Oh could you put a message in the stream or something? I don't know. Twitch is um Twitch in my opinion, to get like all the stuff on your stream is a lot more confusing than something like YouTube. Um, but YouTube to get monetization seems a lot more confusing. I'm not gonna lie, it it's so annoying to be honest. Um, because I've been checking on YouTube Studio, my videos have already made a bit of money. Um, but I don't know how to claim the money now. I think you need to make a certain amount. There's a threshold you need to meet. So I think you need to make a certain amount of money, and then you can start claiming. Um. But there is no way at the moment I can get the money that I've already made off some of the videos. Which is pretty annoying, to be honest. I think I need to make a certain amount of money and then I can start like taking the money out of the AdSense. Um, I don't know. I, I don't like the way they do it. Montization, you know, it's took us six years to get this point in my YouTube and career. I just want, I just want like a simple way of getting my money from youtube or google adsense whatever it comes out of i think it's just google adsense um i'm so confused on how it works as well some of the videos are monetized but don't have adverts there's only a few videos on the channel at the moment that have ads i think they're the ones that are making us money i'm not quite sure how it works to be honest i need to speak to someone who's making money from youtube to to go for this because i've watched tutorials from the YouTube creators themselves, and it's just a load of shit, really. I mean, none of it makes sense, and it's all easy and everything. And no, it's not as easy as just following your instructions from the video. It's really not that easy, because you've got a barrier on your way, and it's, it's just a pain. It's an absolute pain to try and get it set up. It won't be. You can only see if you're watching on PC, I think. Ah, uh, wait, why though? That shouldn't be a thing. That's the overlay is just specifically for PC, obviously. So I, I watched your stream yesterday on my phone. Well, for my iPad, and then when I was getting ready for bed, I was watching it on my phone. Um, but it was honestly, it was pretty good. I was expecting like just a quiet, you know, like GTA stream because, in my opinion, GTA is boring. Well, for me to play at least. But watching you play it and like with the commentary and everything, it's honestly fun to watch. Go on. Because, to be honest, I know I'm a live stream on YouTube. Oh, this sounds weird. 
all of my content is literally just live streaming. But I hate watching live streams. I just get bored so fast. Now, I imagine people get bored in my streams, obviously. Um, but that's just a personal preference. I just get bored so fast watching people's live streams. But your stream though, was actually pretty entertaining. Do you get paid for this? Um, it's... I'm not going to say the exact amount, but it's a, it's a very small amount of money, mate. It's like... Well, the amount of money I've made already wouldn't even get you a day ticket if you are above the age of 16 on a stagecoach bus. That's the, that's the money I've made. But that's because the majority of my videos don't have adverts on them, because I think they can't with being copyrighted or... A, a lot of my videos I've just checked, by the way, uh, this morning. A lot of my videos are partially banned in some countries in the world so I don't know what went down in them streams but some of my streams are banned in some countries I don't know what on earth's happened in them but it's probably something down to the chat and you know what I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case uh, I don't know I don't know how copyright works either I, sometimes I use non-copyrighted sounds and they still get copyrighted so I don't know what YouTube wants us to do at this point go on Jesus oh it's a good run Block shot. Block shot. GD is proper boring. For me to play, yeah, but if I'm watching it, like, I watch most sidemen, you know, and they're doing, like, the races and stuff. That's entertaining. Uh, stuff like that. But I couldn't sit there and play GTA now. I, I just get bored super fast. GTA's got worse as it's aged. Well, yeah. The majority of games will get worse as they age. I mean, it's not really the whole point, but, like, GTA 5 is, what, 8, 9 years old this year? So, of course, it's not going to still be really good and brand new and everything. You know, it's not a decade old. So, of course, it's going to be, um, you know, boring or what have you. I'm still not complaining that it's in my top three games of all time, GTA 5. And it's one of the best-selling games in the entire world. I think it's, like, third in selling in the entire world. Which is crazy. It's only been out for a decade. I think the games above it are like Super Mario and stuff. Which have obviously been out for absolutely ages. So the fact that GTA is up there selling wise. With games like that. Is a massive achievement obviously. Oh it's been fruity in the comments and stuff yeah. That's a way to put it. Being fruity. <laughs> Do I have some of your points chart? At some points your chart has been a bit over the top yeah. I think I'm just tired. No, how good GTA 6 is going to be wicked. GTA 6 will be good, but the problem I have with GTA 6, right, lads, and here I was out here, is everyone's going to hate it. Now, the reason for this, it is going to be good, okay? GTA 6 is going to be good. But people are going to hate it because it's not going to live up to the standards of what we're expecting because GTA 5 was so good. People are going to expect better than GTA 5. And in my opinion, at least story-wise, you can't get better than GTA 5. You cannot get a better story than GTA 5. In the GTA, like, kind of thingy. Like, I, I think the Red Dead 2 story is better than GTA 5. But in the GTA series, GTA 5 story is the best. People are going to expect GTA 6 to top that, and it's not going to. And it's going to disappoint people. But I think a good thing to look out for is that GTA 6 is going to be a next-generation game only. So they're not going to release it for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. It's only just going to come out on the PS5 and the new Xbox. So absolutely everything, the dynamics of the game and everything, are going to be next generation. So the gameplay is going to be like so good. Because if you go back and play GTA 5 now, the game just feels a bit clanky and everything. As it will, as it's aged. GTA 5 is second actually, third is Tetris. Yeah. So, there you go. I thought GTA 5 was third. It's second all time in selling, which is absolutely crazy. The game isn't even 10 years old yet. What a save. Why am I struggling against Crystal Palace? Wish the GTA 6 would be set in London. I think everyone wishes that, but to be honest with you, it would be hard to do from a creator standpoint, if you think about it. Um, because, I mean... London, yeah, there's guns in England and what have you, and you've got these gangs that go around with guns, but there's very few. It's, it's more knife crime and all that kind of malarkey. Uh, the police are a lot different than 
the laws are a lot different than America so it's much easier to have the game set in America it'd be cool to have like a DLC or something that come out that was in London or like a heist where you flew to London to do the heist I think that would be good um, one of the DLCs for online would be a heist and you fly to London and um, you rob like a jewelry store or something oh what a finish Emil Smith Rowe with the opening goal lovely finish I was going to say my room's awfully quiet and the reason for that is because I don't have my headset in I love not hearing FIFA it's amazing It's awful, yeah, best place for it for me would be real. Mate, a Brazilian GTA, could you imagine how nice the game would look? Like, next-gen graphics, 4K, 60 frames a second. Fuck me, it would look so nice. Well, PCs could run it at, like, 200 frames a second, so it would look even nicer. Hopefully, at that point, I do have a PC. Oh, yeah, just to tell you... This whole setup thing, I, I haven't got a PC. I think I said this yesterday's stream. I haven't got a PC. Oh, lovely. Colo Moane gets his first goal for Arsenal. Deserved. Well deserved. He's been alright. And now he gets his first goal. Lovely. Probably due to the sex of set in Cuba, Colombia, and Vice. I've heard about it being set in like three different places. Colombia would make sense. The amount of stuff you could do with like the drug system would be good because Colombia is absolutely riddled with it or just South America in general um, a lot of drugs are produced in that part of the world so obviously f for your warehouses and stuff online you know that would be a good setting obviously and all the the mafia and what have you all that kind of jazz they'd be able to make great like DLCs and everything on top of that as well so that would be a good setting. I still do think GTA 6 will only be set in one place, in my opinion. I, I don't think they have the capabilities. I mean, could you imagine how many gig the game would be to have it in three different places? Open world, everything like that. Rob Buckingham Palace as the GTA heist. It would be good. It would be good. Mate, part of the Watch Dogs Legion story is to do with Buckingham Palace. You go into the House of Commons and everything. It's like, you can do that and just put it on GTA 6. Have it as a DLC. I wouldn't have it set in London. I wouldn't have... So you can go around London, like, free roaming. I would have it set so there is a DLC that comes out at a later time online. And you fly over to London with your people. Or you just get to London somehow. Right, and yeah, like you, you you blow up Buckingham Palace or something like that. It'd be a it'd be a good thing. My stream's probably gonna get fucking taken down because I've just said I'll blow up Buckingham Palace. I was on with this part of Red Dead. Mate, that one part in Red Dead, I forgot what it's called. Um that one part where you get a, like it's towards the bottom right of the map. Oh, what's its name? I've completely forgot, but well the alligators and stuff are, it's like all the swamps. It's such a nice looking area. As long as you don't add flying vehicles, then it's good. Eh, there'll always be flying vehicles. Always. I'm also hoping that it's not a futuristic game, because GTA 5 was set like in the year it came out, wasn't it? Like 2013 ish. I'm hoping they don't set this in the future, because I've played through Watch Dogs Legion. I think the thing that spoiled Watch Dogs Legion is that it was set in the future. It was way too futuristic for me. Um, I hope that doesn't happen with GTA 6. Lemoyne? It might have been, yeah. Not bit. Some games for Rockstar just buy it. So I'm way more popular at the moment, yeah. It's a very good point. Alright, we've got Aston Villa next. I think I'm just going to go with the same lineup. Moane had a good game. Uh, so did Smith Rowe, so I'm going to put Smith Rowe in for Martinelli this game. Uh, there wasn't much from Anasio, but he didn't really need to do much, did he? Right, we'll go out with that. Have you ever played Sleeping Dogs? I've played the... because it was free on the 360, like a trial for it. So I've played the opening mission of Sleeping Dogs. Or at least I think it's the opening bit. It's where you... 
you're chasing someone through this like marketplace. That's the only bit of Sleeping Dogs that I've actually played. It was it was like a trial or something. Um, this is also a kit clash. Oh, this is a horrible kit clash. For my eyes, at least. Right, let's go. Big win against Crystal Palace. Although we scored later on. I hope we can go out and get the win against Arsenal. Yeah, Saka. He's done well. Oh, that is terrible, pal. It's really bad. Come on, Smith Rowe. Odegaard. Flicks it on. Moana is trying to get onto it. Leno Melton with a stream on. How are you doing? Game players like Parker. You... Yeah, the Parker was pretty good as I, as I remember. Like, Sleeping Dogs is an amazing game for the time that it came out. I'm just surprised they didn't, like, make a newer one for the the new gen consoles, really. Well, it's just like Skate, isn't it? The Skate 4 is coming out for next gen. I don't really see the point. I think Skate 3 come out, like, 2010. I don't really see the point in releasing Skate 4, like, nearly 13 years later. It's just... Is anyone that arsed about it? Is it actually a hyped-up game? Because I, I probably won't be getting Skate 4. I only played Skate 3 because it was free on the 360 at one point. It's the only reason I played Skate 3. Um, is anyone actually hyped for Skate 4? Uh, is anyone wanting it? Considering it'll probably be full price 70 quid. I'd rather not pay £70 for that. GTA 6, Newcastle, Rob the KFC and Cowgate. You know what's actually really funny? I just had a KFC today from Cowgate as well. Uh, pretty nice, actually. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. KFC's fallen drastically, though. The chicken's not as nice. The chips are horrible. Uh, it was my first ever time trying KFC gravy today. Um, just not good. I mean, it was nice. Gravy's always nice. But, like... It's just not as good. Like, people die for KFC gravy and stuff. It's just not that good. Like, people are so highly overrated, in my opinion. Because it's always been the thing of, like, oh, KFC gravy, you know, it's, like, the biggest thing to do and stuff. It's, like... It's like, no, it's not. My, my mom's homemade gravy literally tastes better than the KFC gravy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think the only good thing about it was it's boiling hot. Also, has anyone had the... Um, the rice from KFC? Oh my god, it's to die for. The rice from KFC is so nice. I think, what's it, like, southern southern rice or something like that? No, let's go well back to the streams, man. How are we doing? Red Dead 2, makes you think what GTA 6 will be like. Yeah, Red Dead 2, the details to that game are insane. To this day, I think that's the most detailed, like, put-out game of all time. The, like, there's details that we won't even know about right now. We'd have to go back and play the game to find these details out. I can guarantee you there's details that we've never even realised. There's just so much going on in that game. It's so nice. Went off fried chicken, me. Did you? I still like me chicken, I'm not gonna lie. It's not as nice as what it used to be at KFC, though. They've really fallen. Like I say, just, just nothing's tuned. And the price! Fucking hell! The price! I nearly had a heart attack for what I got. It was ridiculous. Tried the online. God, I could have kept on doing stuff for the online, though. It was just never really updated. And even when it was, the updates were terrible, realistically. If they updated it to the, the points about updating GTA 5, I, I think Red Dead 2 Online would have done bits. But. Yeah, I haven't played Red Dead in ages. I've only played through the story once as well. So I feel like if I went through the story now, it'd be pretty new to us. Because I don't really know that many of the missions, like, off the top of my head. So I think... I know a lot of the deaths, though, that's the only problem. So the deaths wouldn't surprise us. But yeah, I, that's the thing I need to go back through. I need to play through Red Dead 2 again. Um, oh, what that game? Oh, you know what's free on PlayStation this month? Man of Medan. 
Man of Medan, I don't know if anyone's heard of it. It's part of the Dark Pictures or Dark Anthology, whatever it's called. Fucking incredible game. The only thing is I've watched a playthrough of Man of Medan, that's why I know it's good. I know you can choose different steps, it's like an Until Dawn game, but... Still. Uh, the best custom on Red Dead 2 as well. Such a good game. The characters were insane on Red Dead, to be fair. Um, I don't know what I do, change them all, yeah. Pressure on every touch, forward runs. Need more players in the box. Arthur Morgan, my... I really liked uh, Lenny. Was he called Lenny? Really liked him. I think he was my favourite. Apart from Arthur Morgan, obviously. Yeah, he was probably my favourite him, Lenny. He was cool. It is such a long story, though, Red Dead. But I'd love to go back through it again. Save. Yeah, it's tough to get past Emmy Martinez on this game, like. Because isn't he like 85 overall or something? Jesus! Oh, what a finish! What is Cash doing? I nearly called him Johnny Cash for a second. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I nearly said Johnny Cash. What is Matty Cash doing? I also never knew Jesus had a tattoo on his left thigh. Well, like, like it's like a sleeve, but for your leg. Dutch and Mike are so well created. Mike, I was good. Dutch was good as well. But I think Lenny for me is my favourite and then Arthur Morgan. Oh, it's just... I don't know who come up with the Red Dead, like, style at Rockstar. Because obviously with the first one coming out and stuff, I don't know who come up with it. But whoever did, you're an absolute master at your job. Because Red Dead 1 was great. Then they brought out um, Red Dead Unnight Undead Nightmares, which was really good to play through. With, like, all the zombies and that. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that. And then Red Dead 2 is just a masterpiece, really. Was the old man's name? Can't he bar that from Saliba? Come on, sucker. Come on. You haven't done much. He still hasn't done much. Saka's one of the worst players on this team at the moment. Oh, well, Smith Rowe is definitely the worst. I'll be taking him off soon. Bring. Martinelli back on. He's he's in the thumbnail for a reason. Oh Gabriel. Oh what's he done there? Oh they've still got the ball, yeah. It's one one. It's one one. Martinelli on for Smith Row. Is it the formation? Well one with this last game, but Alright, Martinelli on, Smith Row off. Needed Arton. Martinelli's been the best power follower. There's no one in the box, look at that. There's just no one there. Come on. Saka. Martinelli couldn't get the pass off. Uh, Arif, is that real Ronaldo? Asking for leaving. Yeah, I saw the notification on my phone today. Ronaldo's asked to leave. It's two. It's fucking two. It's 2 1! <sighs> 1 0 up, 2 1 down. Just how easy is it? A bottle. Everything. I'm not surprised. It is Arsenal. The bottle top four every year. I know I'm bottling games in the Premier League just single handedly. Oh, ho, ho, that's class from Alnelli. Why did I give Aston Villa Luis Suarez? Why have I done that? Morning. Eh? Shows too much of the ball. Saliba. Can't pass out from the back, apparently. Saka. Runs offside. Get him off. Get him off. I'm, uh, I'm not even using him. I don't want to use him. Salamaka's on. Get these a little further up the pitch, please. I'm not having Saka on. He's getting dropped for the next game. He 
It's just been shocking, really. It can't even run with a ball anymore. Well, we're two on down because every time we lose the ball, Villa seem to have a really good attempt. Fierro, he's done well. Passes a bit off though, isn't it? Fuck's sake. Signed Hozek. New return red dead rooms do. On the PS5. Could do, could do. If we want to play through with it. Uh, probably after this career mode I'll do that. Man of Madan as well. Need to go through that. They've shown too much space for Jesus, but it doesn't matter. It's a great save. Again. Vieira. Lovely finish. 2-2. Two, two. I wouldn't celebrate like that, though, pal. I'm still not happy with drawing again. But Fabio Vieira scores a lovely, lovely strike. 2-2. Two, two. I'll take the draw. I'll take the draw, but... Draw's not enough nowadays, people. This is like the fifth to draw of this season already. Johnny, we'll have the last say. We'll have the last say in this game. Salamakas. Or not, the referee's just going to piss about and blow his whistle. Uh, Spain for the World Cup, in my opinion. I've said Argentina or Uruguay, but yeah, I did say Spain when the teams got announced. I think Spain, well, apart from Argentina, who are genuinely favourites favorites in the boogies, um, I do think I that... I, I do think that Argentina or Uruguay will win it this year. Who's your birds? Uh, I guess we'll have to find out, Paul. I, I guess you'll just have to try and find out. I mean, agreement if I played our game, you'd play one. Yes, we did. And I just don't know which one to play through. There's not that many good ones on the PS Store that I've been looking at. Um... So, I don't know. I could try and get Outlast 1, because Outlast 2 was really good. But I Outlast 1 is like an absolute pain in the arse. Because I've seen people play through it before. And it's just it's just a pain. The Outlast 2, you can kind of enjoy the game. Outlast 1, there's actually like so much stuff to be doing at once. It's just, just a bit of a pain. Well, not winning it. Their defence always lets them down. Their defence is looking good this year, though. That's looking solid. Right, Leicester away from home. Always going to be a tough one. I hate playing against Leicester in career mode. I always seem to flop against them. Can you show your teammate? Yeah, yeah. We'll be going through the team. I kind of want to play Hickey in this game. Debating whether I'll do it. Nah, I'll stay away from it. Um, Vieira does deserve to play, doesn't he? You can't not play him. So Vieira will go in. Um... Colo Muani, I think I'm going to be playing there. Uh, Javier are set well, right centre attack and mid. Part in centre, central midfield. So keep that. I, I need to find how to play Elmas a bit more. I've just never really used him. He's always just sitting there. Um, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. So Saka dropped for this game. I mean, his performances are, as of recent have been shocking. So, but yeah, that was that was uh, showing the team there. I always struggle against Leicester and Cromwell, so don't expect anything from this game. Where's not Vieira look? I know! He does look like, well, every Portuguese footballer. <laughs> Did you update team manually? What do you mean? I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know about, like, have I updated the squads and stuff so if that's the case no because I've done all the transfers um, that have happened in real life during this transfer window so like the Vieira and who else do I need to put here oh, like I, I gave Lacazette to Leon and stuff so I've done that but then if you update the squads it'll kind of change back to the old ones if that makes sense so I just don't update those squads anymore. Did you update the team manually? I don't know if that's what you mean, what I've just been through. If it is, then there you go. Oh, that's beautiful from Saliba, that. Go on, Jesus. They always, they always tend to sign Gintar on this. It's so annoying, because he's actually really good. The pain in the arse, he can play out from the back as well. Saliba in there again, come on. 
That's Colo. I mean, that is just... That's terrible, lad. There's no excuse for that pass there, mate. Oh my god, he hasn't even booked him. I thought I was getting sent off. Um, thanks, that's what I mean. Oh, no bother, mate. No bother. So, don't want prison break. I've never watched prison break, so I won't have a clue what you're going on about. Oh, you know what? I'm watching the night, people. I'm going to be watching 1917 war film. I cannot wait. Uh, I didn't realise it was on Netflix. I've, um, I wanted to watch it when I come out. It come out in 2019, believe it or not. Oh, that would have been a good finish. I've wanted to play it. Uh, play it. I've wanted to watch it, but I couldn't watch it in cinemas because I wasn't old enough uh, at that time. Uh, but it's on Netflix, so I'm going to be giving it a gander. To oh, what a finish, Martin Odegaard. What a finish. Absolutely glorious finish. He's back on track. It's like a laser. Donut game, I welcome back to the stream. How are you doing? You should play Red Dead Redemption 2 over this. Nah, well, not stream it, no. 1971, 1917. Did I say 71? I meant to say 1917. It's a war film. Come out like three years ago. 1917. Oh, did I actually say 1971 or was that just you? I don't know if anyone's seen it in this chat, but if you have, obviously don't say anything that might spoil it, but just say if it's a good film or not. Because I'm... I just watched the opening scene to Saving Private Ryan with my brother earlier, and it just really got us into war films again. If you have not seen Saving Private Ryan and you're watching this live stream, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Go and watch Saving Private Ryan. If you've got Netflix, you can go and watch it now. It's three hours long, like, but it's worth it. Seven Private Ryan's one of the best films of all time, people. Like the setup, let's go, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I've been alright that day. Um, I've been alright. I have my uh, I have my auntie's dogs for like three weeks, which is interesting. I just looked after my neighbour's dog. It just went home on Wednesday, I think. I uh, just looked after my neighbour's dogs for like, well, dog, for like a week. And literally today I just got my auntie's two dogs because she's going to Greece. Which I would have been going to Greece today, people. But my passport isn't here. Piss take. Uh, she's waited Greece for three weeks. I would have been going with her. Uh, fuming about that. But yeah, now we're looking after our dog for dogs for three weeks. And they're terrible walking on a lead as well. I took them out for a walk earlier with my da. And um Oh, no. Nah. Uh, one of them walks behind you. It's in, like, 20 feet behind you. So you've constantly got your arm behind your back. Um, one of them just keeps on switching sides. So, like, switches to your left, switches to your right constantly. And it's just... Just fuck off. Just stop. You said 1970s war film. Ah, right. I meant to say 1917. That's, like, the name of the film. I've seen that as well. It's an amazing film. Let's go. If I speak, I'm in big trouble. Uh, yeah, what else did I do today? Oh, yeah, I had to obviously get my desk sorted. Just my whole room, really. It's a mess. Um, that took until, like, eight hours. And then I got a KFC for the whole family. Cost us 30 fucking quid. And you got, like, two chips and two chicken strips or something. It was, like, daft for the price. I'll not be getting the KFC again, I can tell you that. I just thought I'd treat people, but, uh, nah, never again. Cause I was originally looking at a Domino's, but I uh, didn't ever realise the prices of Domino's. £22 for just a margarita pizza. I nearly shit when I saw the prices. I couldn't believe it. Like, that was just the pizza. It wasn't like a meal deal or something, nah. Just for one margarita pizza, £22. No chance. Absolutely no chance. I don't know who in the right mind is buying Domino's. It's lovely. It's one of the nicest takeaways you can get. But for the price... No. What, how much should a pizza cost, realistically, people? I'm going to say anywhere from 5 to 10 quid. I'd pay £10. I'd pay £10 for a pizza, I would. 
if it's a good pizza. You know, like handmade and stuff like that, not frozen. I'd pay £10. But £22 is unacceptable. I don't care how the, how nice they You never really eat a full pizza from Domino's either. You always leave a few slices. Just no. It's daft. You'd pay 15 quid. I probably wouldn't even pay 15. I think 15 is extortionate for a pizza. It depends on how big the pizza is, really. But like I said, you're not going to eat a whole, like... 15 to 20 inch pizza by yourself, are you? I mean, you might, depending on how hungry you are. For top got oh, for top top like for Domino's quality pizza. If Domino's was fifteen pound for, for a pizza, I'd do it. But even then, that's just for the pizza. And usually at Domino's, you get like the cookies, then the chicken strips. I mean, it's just oh, that would be a good girl. The price of stuff is just stupid, honestly. How was your day? My day was alright, Black Cats. I've had a I've had a decent day. I meant to get me hair cut, as you can see, it looks like a mop. Uh, I went I, I was well I was supposed to get me hair cut. I put an alarm on for half eight in the morning. Uh to go with me bob as you know early, so his name on there. Nah. Woke up at half eight, turned me alarm off, then next thing I know it's ten AM. I don't know how that happened, I must just fell back asleep. Um I do need to give myself lions, man. I like waking up early, though. I really love waking up early. I'm not an early person, but I'd rather wake up early and just get a ton of stuff done in your day than wake up like the majority of people my age at, like, 1 and 2 p.m. and just get nothing done in your day, and then you feel a bit shit afterwards because you've done that. I'd so much rather wake up at, like, 7 a.m., 8 a.m. on a weekend and then just, like, do a ton of stuff. Just get your, get your day planned and do all that. That's how I'd rather live. But this place in town did like 22 inch pizza for 11 pound been tired all day I I have a feeling my mum has COVID my mum went to bed at like quarter to eight my mum went to bed like three hours ago or two hours ago she's been like ill and stuff like that um right soccer on did I bring Smith Rowe on nah I'm going to bring Elmas on, though. Stream the... T Woke up at half five. Mate. You just never sleep, I swear. You're actually, like, nocturnal or something. I don't even understand. And I swear you sleep with your eyes open as well, Kieran. I remember that one. That I actually shit myself. When you were keeping in mind, I looked over. Um, as you were sleeping on the floor, obviously. I looked over and your fucking eyes were open. I was like, What? <laughs> I started speaking to you because I thought you were awake. You just didn't answer. I was like, oh, he's asleep. Bro was just chilling with his eyes open. You can't expose me like that. I can't. Other people probably. <gasps> Get in! Get in! Well, why you just won the game? The deflection. The deflection. What a finish. Don't think they do that anymore. What do you mean, they? Your eyes? <laughs> nah, it's funny though. I, I know some people who also do that. Some some of my old friends from primary sleep with their eyes open. I, I, I don't know how it happens. Obviously, you won't know you sleep by your eyes open because you're asleep. But I just don't understand. Because, like, you have to close your eyes to get to sleep. So, mid sleep, does your body just be like, nah, I'm just going to open your eyes? I don't understand. Saka, Saka, you're fucking poor, you know. How would you miss that? Um, yeah, let's just bring Smith Rowe on, why not? Oh, one vibes. Oh, the keeper, oh, why are you punching that? I'm getting annoyed at the keeper making a mistake. Martin Odegaard, Cone, oh, look at this. Someone's getting on the end of it. The goalkeeper and he's punching it again. It's a good ball, lad. Go on. Oh, the best thing Sack has done than Arsenal shirt. Ah, oh, it's very muggy of me to say that. He is good in real life. Elmas. Oh, they've been poor out the back, Leicester. Go on. Go on. Lima scores. 3-1. That does it. 
Gear up now. His first goal for Arsenal. Brilliant. I'll beat Leicester on career mode. Get in. 3 1 win away from home. Two wins in a row the first time that's happened on this career mode. You'll love to see it. We're getting so many shots, like. Odegaard, man the match. I would have said Jesus myself, like. Oscar Welton on the channel. Messi, Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Oh, I'm sorry if that makes you cry, but. We've got some questions for you. Has the donation button always been there? Oh no, I just got that sorted last night, people. There is now a donation button. I don't expect anyone to donate. I don't know how it'll appear anyway, but I don't expect anyone to donate. How much can you donate? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you can donate £449.99. Please, no one do that. <laughs> What's a super sticker? What's this? You really pay money, forty-five pounds, just for a stick out to pop up in me chat. YouTube, what are you doing? I'm sorry, but please, no one do that. I don't expect anyone to. I look like a ghost. Yeah, spooky bitch. <laughs> yeah, why is why is it so bright? There we go. Right, sixth in the league. That puts us not bad. Jesus has got 8 and 10. I told you he was good. I knew it. I called it. I knew he was going to be good. Right, Nottingham Forest, that's last in the league. Oh, who's being called up here? Hickey to Scotland. Selamak as to Belgium. Nice one. And Martinelli has the Brazil call up. See, if you play well, you get called up to the international. Okay, welcome everyone. Lack of sunlight will do that. Yeah, I know why it's like the screen's so bright and stuff. But. What's your thoughts on Gabriel Jesus joining Arsenal? Uh, I'm not an Arsenal fan, so it doesn't really affect me. But I think it's really good for the team and him himself. So he's going to get regular game time now. Every time I score, I do the Messi That's celebration. I don't know what the Messi celebration is. Right. Nottingham Forest at home. We've got a canny team, like, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem for us, really. God, Odegaard's already in 85. How old is he? 22. Quality little player. Um, right, let's keep Lyme on there. I'm going to go with Inacio in for Gabriel. Go with Hickey in for Tierney. Patino up for Salamakas. Elmas in for Pardy. So a lot of changes. We'll see how we go. Seeing light of sunlight makes you pale. Well, and the fact that I'm a white person doesn't help. And I'm ginger, so I'm never really tan either. My arms tan. Um, in fact, right now my arms are pretty. I mean, it doesn't look it on stream. But like my arms and my hands get pretty like darkish in the summer. Um, so my body looks a bit daft. I'm just fucking milk bottle white. And then my arms are just darker than the rest of my body. I'm on the you know what? I shouldn't be going on about how my body tans and that. I should be wondering why the fact we've just conceded in the space of five minutes to Nottingham Forest. Who did you support? I support Newcastle, mate. Go on, Saka. Go on, Saka. You should thrive in games like this, Paul. Oh. So it's an interesting ball. Get it now, Moss. Good win. Hickey. Good run. Jesus trying to get the pass off. Saka. Goes for goal. Good save from Samba. Go outside in the sun. Can fix that. It's kind of hard to when uh, I burn, like I said. I'm ginger, so I burn very easily. Even with sun cream on. My body just says a natural fuck you to sunlight. Well, no. The sunlight says fuck you to my body. And burns me. And the worst I've ever been burned was the first time I went to Tenerife, I think, like, seven years ago now. Um, Elmas gets his first goal for Arsenal. Get in. Get in. Little gem. Uh, yeah, I went to Tenerife, uh, like, seven years ago. It was... 
that bad I couldn't shower or bath because I had blisters on my shoulders. It literally looked like lizard eggs or something on my shoulders. It was actually horrendous, the sunburn. It wasn't even sunburn at that point. It was literal, like my skin had just boiled. It wasn't a burn, it was more of a boil. And um, it was just that painful, any contact on it, what, even the air. When there was wind, that hurt my shoulders. I was screaming in pain. And obviously, it, out in the sun, I still needed to put sun cream on it. So, like, every time my dad would put sun cream on us or something, I was screaming in pain. It was unbelievable. I've never had that again before. I always get some, but even if I put, like, Factor 50, I think is the most you can get now. Like, even when I put that on, I still burn pretty badly. It's just, there's no you can do when it's that hot. What the fuck I was trying to say? Go touch grass. You know what? He is. He is at this point. Whoa, ho, ho, that was dodgy. Oh my god. Oh, what a save. Who's the best forward at Newcastle right now? The best forward right now, currently, would be Alan St. Maximum or Callum Wilson. Vieira. What was that? Oh, I think he's been found. Yeah, it'd be Maxi or Wilson. Don't say Maxi, why not? Well, who is it then? Would you take Ronaldo at Newcastle? No, mate, I wouldn't. I just wouldn't take the best player of all time at Newcastle. Being sarcastic there. Of course I would. Go on, Gabby. Jesus. Can he run? Couldn't get the ball into the box, but he wins it back anyway. Oh, that's a lovely pass. How, how do I not score there? It'll be team fan, but Maxi needs to up his game next season. Yeah, of course he does. But he's still got plenty of time, really. He's only going to be like, what, 25 next year? Still got plenty of time. I did say, that third shirt, lads, Maxi is going to have an unbelievable time in that third shirt. I can just see it. Third, third kit, Alan St. Maxman. It's going to be unbelievable. Would you take Lingard at Newcastle? Uh, Attitude-wise, no. But as an actual player, yes. Because I do think that Lingard's pretty talented. Um, but his attitude stinks. So I say that. Alan St. Maxman's attitude's horrendous. But it is what it is. There's a difference between Maxi and Alan. There's a difference between St. Maxman and Lingard. Elmas, good save. Where do you think Ronaldo will go now? Oh, I think he's going to stay at Manchester United. But if he is genuinely going to leave, I think you'll either go back to Juventus or go to PSG. I think probably the only teams that can afford him, really. And your Chelsea's. And I can't see him leaving United just to go to Chelsea. Who I've predicted to have a worse season than Manchester United anyway next season, so it wouldn't really make sense in my eyes. I think he'd only go to Chelsea if he was guaranteed to have a much better season, obviously. Jesus! Oh, he's hit the crossbar. What a run, though. Where do you... Th oh, I've already answered that. S still no Vassar Maxman? Well, well, yes. Of course Sterling's better than Vassar Maxman. Ronaldo should go to Real or Spalding. Nah, I think Ronaldo will return to Juve or PSG or, I mean, Sporting, yeah, but can even afford his contract. And you'd have to buy him. It's not as if he can just leave United for free. He's in contract. I mean, not that his transfer value is going to be that much. It'd be like, what, 60 mil, maybe? Maybe even less, just because of his age. On Elmas. Can he run? Oh, dear God. Elmas. Oh, dear God. Oh, it's one hour. It's 
gone over. Value is 20 million. Ronaldo's value is definitely more than 20 million, Paul. It's definitely more than 20 million. Um, I want him to stay. Of course he'd want him to stay. You know what? I'm literally... I'm going to check Ronaldo's transfer value right now. It's definitely more than 20. Ronaldo transfer market. His value is 30 million. So it's actually less than what I thought, but... I thought he would have been worth 50 or 60. He's worth 30. You'd get more than 30 for him, though. If United would want to sell Ronaldo in his current state, you'd get more than 30 million for him. He should be worth more than 30 million. I don't understand that. I know he, I know his age, like he's 38, but come on. It's fucking Ronaldo. I'm 2 1 down. <laughs> I love how I've paused the game before team went in. Can't put up a soccer any longer. <laughs> Literally pause the game before the goal went in. It could be an offside or anything. All right, two one Nottingham Forest. This is embarrassing, lads. They're last in the league. What a run, mate! What a run, Gabby. Jesus. Oh, the guards. Martinelli! That corner always works. I've done that too many times now. The left-footed corner, either from Vieira or Odegaard, and Martinelli's there, and he always wins it. I don't think he's ever missed that. I just need to do that all the time when I get that kind of corner. Martinelli scores with his head again. He's got more goals with his head than he has with his feet this season. If now leaves, who do you think United will get up top? They'll probably just keep Martial for starting up top, to be honest. I couldn't see them sign the forward. Part A. Jesus! What a save! Oh, Moane. So, so close. What a goal that would have been. Joe, mate, welcome back to the streams. It's been a long, long time. What position would you play if you went pro? Um... <coughs> Fucking hell. Probably either central midfield or up front, to be honest. I think everyone's on top, I'll just be up front, but central midfield for me would, would do us. Considering for Sunday League I played every single position on the pitch. Yeah, I'd probably just go with central midfield. I enjoyed playing in midfield the most, probably. Oh, he's offside. Joe Lafredo's just donated money. What a fucking legend. Joe, I actually love you so much, and I'm not even gay. I actually love you so much. Thank you. Mate, what an absolute legend. Smith, oh, you idiot. Can I, like, buy your own super chat? What? What? What's that on about? Alright, I need to do this. Where is it? John, I just permanently banned you there. I'm sorry. Joe, you're an absolute legend. It's 79 pence, but it's 79 pence of your own money. What a guy. That's incredible. I've uh, I've made your mod on the channel because of that, mate. That's on it. That's actually class. Well done. I don't know. Don't know why I'm saying well done. <laughs> well done for giving you my your money. Get wait what? Giving me your money. <laughs> well done. Nah, actually, thank you so much. I can donate, mate, don't donate, I don't know why anyone would donate, I've only put the super chat there because it was an option because I hit a thousand subs, I don't actually expect anyone to donate money, but thank you a lot, that's class, Neymar to Newcastle, I, well I wouldn't say no, you can't say no can you, but at the same time, yeah. Can I pin the... Wait, what do I do? Oh, fucking hell. I know you just donated £17 to myself. Why would that happen? I can't pin your super chat. Because it looks cool and sharp. But I can't pin it. 
These streams pay to win now. <laughs> pay to win. I've just drawn a bloody Nottingham Forest with 17 shots. Now, honestly, Joe, thank you a lot, honestly. I, I find it hard to say, like, stuff in these situations. Like, you know when you open, a, like, a, a card for your birthday and you're sitting there like, oh, yeah, thank you. It, it doesn't sound you. convincing enough. You're just like, oh, yeah, thank you. I'm looking more at the 20 quid you've put in me, in me card, but thank you. The card, oh, lovely words, lovely words. You're just flinging about the fucking 20 pound note in your hand. Now, honestly, Joe, that, that's, a, that's a class uh, gesture, of that. No, I can donate, like, four pa D Don't! What have I told you? Just don't. I don't know why. I don't know why you would do that. How much goals have you scored for Sunday League? I actually know my exact number as well, which is weird. I scored in total 47 goals for Granger Park. 47 goals. Uh, I was there for six years. I played for Granger six years. I scored 47 goals. Two of them six years were in goal. Two of the years were playing in defence. And the other two were just all over the shop. Two, two. Oh, well, it must have been four over the shop then. Yeah. First two years were in goal. Then I played in, like, just left back, right back, centre back for two years. And then the rest I just played in, like, midfield on the wing up top. I managed to score 47 goals. I didn't score a goal as a goalkeeper, though. Shame. Take me money. Well, I'm, 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 I'm gonna fucking take it. I'm gonna make sure I take it. But um, <laughs> no, that's class. <laughs> no, honestly, thank you though. Thank you. Um, thoughts on Sancho? He's hard eat, I suppose. Just really proves the difference between the Bundesliga and Premier League, doesn't it? Though. If you want any thumbnails, you know where to find me. I do, mate. The thumbnails are right, though, at the moment. You've got to admit. Like, the Arsenal ones are decent. I might need some for the Leeds career mode, though, pal. There's some that have, um... So, you know, episodes four, that currently has uh, Ben Yedder on it, but he's not in a Leeds shirt. And episode six has Nicholas De La Cruz on it, but he's in the River Plate shirt. If you could put them in the lead shirt, that would be class. If you could do that. It's a big ask, but... I mean, you have offered. I ain't gonna say no. I am gonna be a pussy, and I'm gonna go five at the back against Liverpool. So, I'm sorry. It's gonna happen. I'm scared. I don't wanna play Liverpool. Scary times ahead, people. Uh, I also want to play Vieira. I feel so bad for taking him out of the team because he's really good. <laughs> uh, I can donate 20 on Monday since I get... Mate, don't. Why would anyone... Oh, I've just backed out of that. Are you taking the piss? I hit me control on the bottom of my desk. Why are people willing to donate money? What? It... Like, why? Seriously, why? Why do you want to donate your money? I don't understand. I mean, I honestly do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, but I just don't understand why you'd want to do it, to be honest. Armin, welcome back to the streams. Sancho or Grealish? Chuck Grealish. Are people going to hate us for that? Probably. But I don't care. It's my opinion. You LD lights? Well, I've had these lights for donkeys, mate. I've had this light for donkeys. It's one of the Alexa bulbs. It's like, Alexa, change the light to white. Okay. There. But it looks sick. See, it looks a bit plain like this. Then I go, Alexa, change the light to blue. Okay. Sick. You ever scored a long shot? Uh, I scored a free kick once. When I was playing on the wing. I can tell you exactly who it is now. If, unless you're from Newcastle, you're not going to know who these are. But it was against Westgate. It was away from home at Westgate. Um, we got a free kick, and I took the free kick, um, and then it deflected off the wall and went in. And I just stood there so confused because all my teammates ran up to me celebrating, but I was like, "Does that not class as an own goal?" Uh, so I, I didn't celebrate. Cause I just stood there in like shock. I didn't really know what to do. But um, it still went down as my goal. When's your stream set up out? Uh, it'll probably come out tomorrow, mate. That's probably when. 
I'm excited for you to say, you know, because it looks nice. They just can only say, like, the background stuff, which is literally me bed, to be honest. But uh, now the desk and that, it looks sick, honestly. I'm enjoying it. It feels nice. I've got so much fucking space, you know. Look at this. I can just now sit with my arm and play FIFA, to be honest. How have they not just got a penalty there? Look at the space. I've got so much space for activities. Apparently VRL is better than Luis Diaz. And they were both in the Portuguese league. I don't know, like... I don't know. I mean, Luis Diaz is better on the Premier League. So... I mean, not that Vieira's had a chance to play here yeah, yet, yeah, but... Literally the best streamer I'll ever know. I don't know if Still make my night. We're happy. Then before Joe, what a lovely message. That's cute, that is. <laughs> uh, got 111 subs in a week. Let's go. Ws. How's Grealish better on Sancho, pal? He just is. He just is. Grealish honestly is. In the Premier League, he is. Newcastle, East End, are, the, are better than Newcastle team. No, they're not. You washed it, football, I'll have your life. Lads, we're going to have to do a collab here. Me versus Kieran, 1v1, like, football challenges video has to happen before the end of summer, okay? Because I just want to prove someone wrong. Adidas boots or Nike boots? Nike all the way. Like, Nike all the way. I only used to just play in Hyper Venoms. If I was to play in some now... Actually, that's a lie. I, I had some sock boots in the world, the Paul Pogba ones. You know, the red and black Adidas? They were, like, one of Paul Pogba's first boots, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I need to get a picture of them. Oh, these were, like... These were some of the nicest boots I'd ever played in. Um, I think they were Pogba's, weren't they? Black and red. Pogba... Football boots. Oh, the words well. Oh, they're unreal. They're absolutely unreal. Oh, you just can't really say it that well, you know. Them. I had them. They were the last boots I've had. My first boots, my first ever boots, were black and green. Hyper Venoms. Oh, the fucking unreal. I need to get myself a pair. I don't even think they do them anymore, to be honest. My first ever football boots. <gasps> eee, they're actually so nice. Oh, they're so nice. That's green, right? So the thing you call out, that's green. And they've got like black and green spikes on them. Oh my God. They were my first ever football boots. They're so nice. So much better space activities. I'm looking on... I fucking, I've been waiting. How long have we been live for? An hour and ten minutes. I've been waiting for an hour and ten minutes to someone for someone to mention the bed. I just had a weird feeling it would be Joe as well. Of course it would be. It's where the magic happens, people. Not that much. It, yeah, just not that much. Don't get your hopes up. Not that anyone would get their hopes up, but... Newcastle is stand or better... Uh... End or better than Newcastle team. I didn't read that wrong at all. That's exactly how I read it. Sancho got much more goals than Grealish last season. D and. <laughs> Doesn't mean he's a better player. Love Newcastle. Want to practice who's better? I'm definitely better. I'm definitely better. Armin, aren't you like 10 years old? Or 14? I forgot the age. Someone's 14 and yeah. But I think you're like 10 or something, aren't you? I know what boots you're on about. This. Oh my god, no, the boots are... Oh no. Oh no, I don't even think they make them anymore. The green hyper venoms. But if they do, I need a pair. Santa got more goals and assists than Grealish in the Premier League, pal. It doesn't mean he's a better player. That's one season. Look at Grealish's seasons in the past when he played for Villa. And look at Sancho's first season with United. God be me, I just can't do anything against these, like. Lewis gets his home over every time he goes to your house. Lewis Boyd has only been in my house, like, two times. And I think each time, because it's literally been donkey since he was last year, I didn't even have this bed the last time Boyd was here, so. And I've had the bed for, like, three years. Yeah, but I play for Port Vale and then... The, do you... Actually, that's crazy. Turned 11 last week. Let's go. 
Wait, do you have to travel down to Port Vale? Isn't that literally missions of it? I swear Port Vale's next to Southampton. It's literally the other side of the country. How are you managing that? <gasps> Saka. Saka. You know, you just made you sound like an Arsenal legend or something there. Bell Lewis broke your own bed. He had no mercy with What the fuck? Joe. Abuse his pals every time they Right. <laughs> nah. This is funny, this. I don't know what the hell Joe's on about. Well, I know exactly what he's on about. Um, <laughs> Kieran's actually got a very good point. You know, at one point, YouTube, please don't take my stream down now. I can't say this. I think I am... Um, I seem to remember Kieran trying to get out my house. So I just threatened him with a knife. And then, like, pretended to start stabbing him with, like, a genuine knife. Kieran, I'm very sorry if you're traumatised by that. It's in Stoke. Oh. Yeah, but Stoke's still mission, surely. I don't know. Port Vale's no relevant place, realistically, isn't it? Like, no one lives in Port Vale. If it's next to Stoke, everyone lives in Stoke instead. Like, Port Vale's just a... Everyone just uses Port Vale for stuff. No one actually lives there. That's a lie, by the way. Obviously, people live there. I'm just trying to make stuff up. Brilliant from Gabrielle. Brilliant stuff out. Then shot me in the forehead with some baby gun. Eee, that was funny that you were trying to like escape from your house. Now this sounds mad, because the two times I've spoke about you, it's been about you escaping from a house, as if my house is some kind of like sex dungeon or something. Um what a finish by Jesus, by the way. Um I, I remember that. You were trying to get out of my house or something. And then you got around, like, the path in front of my house. I just went fucking bang. I unleashed a bullet straight in was he'd with an MP40 BB gun. Must have absolutely knocked him. I remember I, I was an absolute menace with that BB gun. My brother got it from, like, Blackpool or something. So I got a, I got a handgun. He got, like, that MP40. Uh, I remember playing out with some people in my street once. I unleashed a full fucking magazine into some... <laughs> I just unleashed a full magazine into someone's thigh. They lifted up their, like, pants. <sighs> Joe's gonna have something to say about that, isn't he? They lifted up their pants so they could show their thigh. Fuck's sake, why does everything sound dodgy nowadays? And then, yeah, they just have mad bruises down the thighs. That BB gun, I don't even think we still have it, which is probably for the best. Do a flip. Should I do a backflip on stream, like, off me bed or something? Should I do that? Should. I've never done a backflip in my life, though, so it'd probably end terribly. I'd break my spinal cord or something. Be great content, though. Force fed a soft. <laughs> no, that was funny. Do you remember the drinks challenge, Kieran? I put chewed up chewing gum in someone's drink. I'm fucking. What was wrong with me? Maybe four or five years ago. What the actual hell? That probably made... I think it was Luke's drink. That probably made him ill. That's probably why he's autistic nowadays. He had chewed up chewing gum with water or something. Toilet paper as well. I put toilet paper on someone's drink. And that to drink it. Um, the, I put the video out on the channel. I wish I still had it to show people. Because it was so funny. Just had like absolute shite in your drinks. And you had to drink it. And like, there was no reward. You didn't get anything for it. So I don't know why people done it. Of course the skull. Later on. Force fed his chocolate bar. <laughs> Please do a front flip off your bed. I might actually attempt it, to be honest. It's very tempting that he's saying it. We need more attacking players on here. Um, what are you planning on doing today? Today, well, just streaming, to be honest. There's not much else for us to do after that day. Uh, tomorrow... Probably waking up, going to the gym, or going on a bike ride. I don't know which one to do yet. To be honest with you, I can't go... Well, I can't be asked to do either. Um, get home from whatever I do. Film a Leeds career mode video, get that edited. Film the gaming setup video, get that edited and posted. Stream. That's probably my day. Oh, it's brilliant from Gabriel. 
If you break your neck, I don't care, it's for the content. Oh, thanks, Joe. You know what? You can donate the £20 then. Or the £4, you said. That'll pay for most of my treatment. Go on. Oh, no. Man has Jesus up front, can't win. I'm playing the second best team in the entire world right now, mate. Well, I mean, it might be a bit far. Second best team in England, and the fucking won it! I don't want to play the game anymore. I don't want to play it. I knew that would happen. Called it from a mile off. It's a brilliant challenge, that. One last chance. And he's fucked it. Tommy Asu's so bad. Tommy Asu is actually dreadful. Don't buy him. Well, there was no I could have done. He was already on the team in the first place. I will be selling him, though. He's dreadful. We've managed to go 1-0 up in this game to then... Oh, my God. It nearly got even worse. Go chug a water, please. I do have a freezing cold Pepsi in the fridge, actually, people. Oh, it's freezing cold. I might need to get it. I might need to get the Pepsi. I'm not going to lie. Actually, I'm You still need to watch me. Shit myself playing that game. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Still be doing that. Depends when this stream finishes, obviously. If you didn't score four goals in this game, do a flip. You say that about well when I conceded the second, so that's not fair. Messi Ronaldo, Ronaldo. How are mate? Hello. Like the LD lights, let's go, mate. I can put them on any colour. What colours look best? The blue one looks best at the moment. I could just ask ask actually Alexa. Change the light to purple. That's how purple looks. Oh, fancy, eh? Very fancy. I thought light that lights up my room a bit much, though. Does it? Does the lighting still look good when I'm here? No. Don't want to be shown too much. Imagine if I was just fucking cocking balls out <laughs> sitting here playing FIFA. That'd be funny, that. Wait, what? The Nightbot's back? What's happened here? Bro, this Nightbot comes in my streams like... This is the second time I've seen the Nightbot, what? If you didn't score four goals next game, do a flip. Okay. I got a warning. Stop spamming in caps. You haven't said anything in caps. The Nightbot's daft. The Nightbot's actually stupid. Bro, I know I put an, a Nightbot on my channel, but I didn't realise it was, um... I don't know. Say what colours we're going to have. Oh, let's put the party one on. Because it's fucking Saturday night, let's go. This is going to mess with people's eyes and stream, I can guarantee you that. Can it go faster? I need it to go faster. Um... I don't know if it can go faster. Oh, edit theme. Speed. Oh, this is the fastest it goes. Breathing. Come on. Party crew. <laughs> it's funny, that. Um. Bro, I don't know why the Nightbot should... It randomly comes in the stream. But this, like I said, this is the second ever time I've seen the Nightbot. Nah, I need to chill with these lights, you know. They're doing my head in. Put the relaxed ones on. Bro, why is my face so blue? What the fuck's actually happening? There we go, sort of sell out. This isn't really relaxing. These lights aren't relaxing at all. It's doing my head in. What are lights coming at you, though? 
Go with the yellow. I like the pink, but it doesn't look that good on camera. Just stick with the blue. I think blue's for the best. Read. He <laughs> blocked the night ball, let's go. It's not a game for you on Sunday because it's... It's Sunday. No, I don't play Sunday League anymore, mate. I'm eight. Well, I'm 17. And sun when you get off the age of, like, 16, you stop playing Sunday League. I stopped playing Sunday League, like, four years ago because the team just completely fell through. Uh, the team doesn't exist anymore, my Sunday League side. It got taken over by a different team. My friend is coming back from Madrid tomorrow. Let's go. Right, Newcastle United. You know, it's... Uh, Hickey was our meet. Tommy Asu can't play again. Right, we'll just get on with that. Newcastle next. Oh, also with a desk. I've got a free um, mouse mat. If anyone... I'll, I'll give it away. If, if anyone actually wants the mouse mat that I just got, you can have it. Because um, I've already got the own one that like lights up and shit. Because I'm cool. Um, yeah, I've already got my own mouse mat. I didn't need it. Uh, but if anyone wants it, I'll, I'll generally do a giveaway with it. I'll, I'll get like... Ooh, I've just got a solid idea. I will give away a copy of FIFA 23 when it comes out. How's that? I'll do a I'll do a day one giveaway. So I, I'd imagine you can get a code for the game maybe, and I'll just give that code away on the day it comes out. Or well, whoever wins the giveaway, I'll deliver it to your house on the day that it comes out, kind of thing. I right, I'll do. It. I need to start doing giveaways now that I've got the money to just buy shit. Oh, love. Oh, Martinelli. Have me Benz, but um, don't anymore, please. If you don't score more than, if you don't score three, do a flip. Deal. I'll do a front flip off me bed if I don't score three. Fuck. How is Anasio Henry on the stream? Anasio shit. Do new Castle United career mode. We've just done it not so long ago. How do you go pro? It's kind of do. You have to join like academies and all that kind of jazz. Semi-pro and everything. Before you go pro. Well, not everyone goes semi-pro before you go pro. Do this game, you munch a spoon of salt. Like. <sighs> Can we not do something a little nicer? Like after chug the Pepsi that's in my fridge. <laughs> Jacob, on back to the streams, man. How are you doing? But I can't redeem them. Nah, I'll just give away a full cut, like a hard disc copy of the game when it comes out. So I'll make the giveaway like a couple of days before it goes out. Like comes out. Because it comes out like late October, doesn't it? Or is it late September this year? I'm not sure when FIFA comes out. And then I'll announce the winner of the giveaway and then I'll order it to the person's house, whoever wins the giveaway. And you'll get FIFA on the day it comes out. Unless you live in Newcastle, then I'll come and hand deliver it to you. So you'll be able to meet your favourite YouTuber, of course. And you'll get FIFA 23 for free. How's that? Doing a front flip off his bed, here we go. Oh, I don't want to fucking do it, because I'll definitely break my spine. No, I'll honestly break my spine, lads. I've done a front flip before, but I've only done it on a trampoline. So it's not that hard, considering you're already like halfway in the air when doing the flip. But I'd imagine it's hard to do off your bare feet. Sell that mouse pad for some money. You can, but it's honestly probably worth... I don't know, the shite that comes out the end of your arse or something. It's probably not worth anything, Paul. Might be worth four quid or something. It'll be worth Joe Lafredo's donation on Monday. I'm making that as if Joe Lafredo's donation is a bad thing. It's a, it's a really good thing, but... Jesus, get in. One all. Gabby Jesus, giveaway what? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a giveaway. Um, for FIFA 23 giveaway. There we go. Ooh, I've got a good idea. I'll give away the new Premier League ball 
the World Cup ball and a copy of FIFA 23 when it comes out. How's that? I think that'll be class. Because obviously the World Cup will be like in a month's time when FIFA comes out. So I'll give away the Premier League ball this year, the World Cup ball. Uh, and a hard disk copy of uh, FIFA 23. There he's gone. Either flip or a spoon of salt. You just can all fuck off. I'm not doing either. A spoon of salt, I'll actually spew up everywhere. I'm not going to put myself through that. Because that's minging that. But I'm going to score more than three anyway. Go on. No, I'm not. Drew's may well about the stream. How you doing? Jesus. That's not Jesus. It's Martinelli. What are you doing? Go on, Tiani. Nah, he's blowing the whistle, Annie. If you win, save your postage. You could deliver it to one of my friends down the east, and then I'll pick it up when I come to England. Or you could get FIFA on the day it comes out. I already have the World Cup ball. Wait, have they released the World Cup ball? Aaron, you changed, man. How did I change? <laughs> if you lose, you have to drink a spoon. Mate, my teeth are bad already, as in, like, the weakened shit. With, like, sugary drinks and that. I don't need to be taking teaspoons full of salt and vinegar. If you had a 1v1... Would try and shoot or take on player. Shoot. You have two wheel couples and one goal post. You just have the post of a goal. Pretty interesting. <laughs> OJ Aaron Wood? Would what? What? Chuck? Fucking have some salt? What's even I like? I, I was really tempted to do it, but I just know I'd be sick. I, I, like, have a fear of being sick. I hate it. It's not the sick that I hate. It's like, you know, when you feel dizzy and that after being sick. That's the bit I hate. And I already know I'd be sick. Oh, to God. Ah. It's an absolute pain in the arse, this. Trying to get past it, uh... No, he can't do here. He might as well be fucking do here, the things he's saving. Go on. Jesus is in. The Brav has apparently the best goalkeeper in the world. I don't deserve a World Cup ball. Well, to be fair, early on in the World Cup, so that's pretty funny, actually. The World Cup ball's still nice. I never knew they released it, though. I know they released pictures of it, I'm pretty sure. But I swear they haven't, like, released it so you can actually buy it. Surely not this early. I say this early, we're not too far away from the World Cup. How am I meant to score? Please tell me. If you didn't score three, drink mustard. I don't have mustard in the house, because no one likes mustard, realistically. My dad went to... You're not going to get us with that. You're not going to get us with it. Someone tried to make us say the N-word in my chat once, and I, luckily enough, I got myself out of it. Someone had us with, um, I don't know if he still joins the streams. His name was like Mia Choch or something like that. <laughs> I always used it, so I was asking him, how do you say your name? And he said, my cock. So every time I said his name, I'd literally just be saying my cock. But I thought that's just how you said it in his, like, language kind of thing. So I'd sit there saying, oh, my cock, welcome to the stream and everything. But I just didn't realise he was taking the piss with us. So it was pretty funny. I love Odegaard. What a player. 2-1. Oh, Any new signings? Not as of yet. Not as of yet, no. I just need someone to say it. I need... I mean... I do, hey, mate. Tyler, welcome back to the streams, man. I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing? Chilling on a Saturday night. Oh, you know what? I had today people whine. I'd whine today. It's pretty nice. I say whine. Ha! 
Is that all falls? <laughs> That's actually funny, that. I'd echo falls. I, I know, I'm fucking disappointed in myself. I feel like I'm just like an fucking yeah, eight slag or something like that. Drinking fucking echo falls. Who do I think I am? How have I not scored there? Nah, it's actually pretty nice though. I just feel like I've de-aged myself about four years. Let's get Smith through on. What do you think of our show speed? I hate him personally. I'm in Spain on holiday. I got sunburned. Tyler, that is pain. Well, literally just on boots on burn in the stream earlier. What do you do for work? I work in CAD CAM, mate. It's, it's a pain to uh, um, tell people what it is. If you search up CAD CAM, it might come up on the internet. It should do. Should I carry on? You shouldn't carry on. It's PR childish email. Are you doing another setup video? Yes, there'll be one out hopefully tomorrow, mate. Hopefully. Because I didn't film it. Originally, what I was going to be doing is is me, like, filming me making the setup and shit like that, but... It's not that I forgot. It's just I had family around, like, my auntie was around and shit like that, and it's just a fucking pain to try and film when you've got the whole Davies family in your house. So, uh, I, I didn't end up getting to do that. But I will do a little like filming part of just how the setup looks when it's finalised and stuff. I will do that. No way Miggy's getting out from that. Go on. Why'd you run behind the fucking player? Run around him, you tit. Run around the player. It's not hard. It's not difficult. He scored. Oh my god. It was so close. Who should I sign in my Brighton career mode? Uh, genuinely sign Aaron Hickey for left back. That's a good sign and suggestion. Martinelli. Oh to god. Yes! Super sub, Salamak has and I've scored three. I'm not having a teaspoon full of salt, people. All of yous in the chat. All of yous. I'm not having a teaspoon full of salt. Who do yous think yous are? Three goals and three points. You'll love to see it. Geared up now. Room two art? I could do a room two art, to be fair, because, I mean, the setup's, like, open and shit, so... You can, I mean, you... The fucking room two art right there. Look, do you want to see it? I need to, like, move out the way. Boom. Room tour. That's my room. It's not that interesting. I've got a massive double bed, so it takes up, like, the majority of my room. Chalabar's a good sign suggestion. Why do you hate I show speed reasons? He's just annoying. He's not funny, and people think he's funny, and that annoys me. He acts like he puts it on so much. I guarantee you now he's a completely different person off camera. I could say the same, to be fair. I am pretty different off camera. How about Pedro de la Vega? He'd be good for Brighton, yes. We said more than three. Nah, you said three, mate. You definitely said three. <laughs> Osma bin Laden, welcome to the stream, I know you did. Can you show us a close up of your bed sheets? Joe, what the fuck? That'll be thank you. I mean, they're literally just playing white. Um. I, d I don't know, I, I can't quite put together what would be so interesting about a plain white bed sheet, but. If you had to film up with any YouTuber, who would it be? It would probably be KSI, um, because it would bang views. Do you like De La Vega as a player? I don't know about him in real life. I don't know if he's good in real life. I don't know if FIFA is really good. Just want to say something. You want to say what exactly? Don't don't go on about stains and shit. No, you'll not be seeing that. If that's what you want to see, you weirdo. Thanks for the seventy nine pence though. <laughs> I'm pissing about with you. When did Joe get mod? You know why he got mod, Joe? He donated money. He donated money because he's such a nice guy. He donated 79 pence. 
What am I on? Who's gonna win the fight? Alex Rosalbi or KSI? Alex Rosalbi, mate. Nah, I think KSI will win, but I want Alex Rosalbi to win. Alright, Insta DMs, what's this gonna be? Your fucking bed sheets or something? Oh no. <laughs> it's just a picture off of the Leeds crew. Uh, I suppose it's alright. Thank you, Joe. That'll suit very well for the thumbnail. Uh, if you didn't score four next year, we'll have to drink fairy. So you want me to die? Ruben wants me to die. Well, thank you very much. I'm not gonna score four against Manchester United. Uh, oh god, December's a massive, massive month, isn't it? Right. Have to get to it. Thank you for joining us yes, my bad treats. Uh, ready to step in that? Yeah, I think, you know what, I feel so bad for Vieira. I haven't permanently got him in the start lineup, but I think he needs to be. I think he needs to be. Say Among Us backwards. Sugum, Sugum more. Suck my nerds. Um, you won't die. I'm pretty sure I'll die drinking fairy wash. Not look good, mate. Who's the most funny and entertaining YouTuber? Uh, me. Nah. I don't know. Like, for me laughing, I'd honestly go either like TGF or Jacksepticeye. I like watching Jacksepticeye and he generally makes me laugh. Love the setup. Let's go, Grant, mate. Welcome, welcome. Dilla Cruz is on my bed sheets. He is a sexy man, to be honest. Uh, if I'm shagging a male, I'm shagging Dilla Cruz. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, people. I know I'm weird. Alright, let's get that thumbnail on then, people. Who would be a good goalkeeper to sign for Brighton? Sanchez isn't that good. I would say Dean Henderson, but obviously he just signed for Nottingham Forest on a loan. Uh, good point. I don't really know. Uh, Woodman? I know he just signed for Preston, though. Woodman, Carl Darlow? Carl Darlow would be our read. I think you could go with him, to be fair. Like. How's you, my J? I'm, I'm doing well, Grant, mate. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Fact... I'm doing very well. This is a very nice way to end my day, honestly. If Sancho scores against you, you got to sign him. I'm not signing him. I'm streaming night being. Let's go with ABO7, mate. Welcome to the stream. It's been canny the night. It's been canny. We've been doing our read. Best game on PlayStation besides FIFA? Uncharted 4. Hands down. Haven't played it in a while, but Uncharted 4. It's Legend of Legends. Jack's up, guys. Such a good YouTuber. I know. He's class. Alright, let's go in. United then. Vieira's gonna start this one. Uh... Alright, we'll just do that. Alright, come on. Do you support Newcastle? I do, mate. I'm from Newcastle as well. I'm pure top class. It's a lovely ER, lovely ER. Why is tonight a very nice way to end your day? Different arm, mate. You know why, actually? Because I'm just gonna have a hefty wank when I get off stream. I'm joking, by the way. I'm really joking. I hope you just realise I'm joking. Just, it's been a good stream. It's been entertaining. I got 79 pence donated to us. What's the results been the night? Uh, they've been harried. To be fair, wait, I don't think we've lost. Nah, I don't think we've lost. So, good. Well, I've had some draws in there, like. I think we drew with Nottingham Forest, which wasn't great. Or did we lose to... No, I haven't played Chelsea. That was yesterday. Yeah, I don't think we'll have lost. Although I can see us losing against United. Yeah, because of fucking Ronaldo. Of course it would be. Of course it would be. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, the Uncharted 4 multiplayer, mate. Jesus. That was an absolute crease. That was an absolute crease playing over you. I want to Dilla Cruz. Nah. Draw that not. Vieira. Oh, fucking hell. I sent him back to the Emirates, that. Charlotte Falls Unreal, class game. 
So they didn't do donate much that. Joe, like I said, I literally don't expect anyone to donate any amount of money to me stream, even if it is 79 pence. Just don't expect, like, I don't expect you to do it. I, like, I don't know why you should do it anyway. Um, it's not as if I need the money. <laughs> I know, I, I know I'm tr sounding like I'm trying to flex like I'm fucking Tate or something. But like, I generally don't really need it. The people in the stream, Joe, you probably need it more than me. Keep it yourself. Save your money, mate. Sarkar's class, mate. <sighs> oh. <laughs> One all. Lovely that. Uh, I was sitting down on my chair and I stood up and. Not so. If we lose, call your mum. So I'm having to move out tomorrow. Should probably like celebrate if I said that they were. So, what's your favourite formation to play on FIFA? Probably four three three or whatever this one is. Four four one one. What's uh? Shall I donate? If it to, I mean, if, mate, it's really up to you. But like I said, I like I don't expect it whatsoever. But if you really want to do that, then I'd really appreciate it. It's also two one. Marcus Rashford. I, I hate United so much. I've just come out and doing the United Kremlin as well. Surely I can't lose to them, man. I need to get this Pepsi as well. I've been talking about this Pepsi in the fridge. It'll be like a fucking myth. The Pepsi doesn't even exist at this point. I'm just lying about this Pepsi to me fridge. I'm not, and I really want it. Because it's like cold and everything, you know what I mean? Oh, you ever had this feeling where you wake up at about like 3am, right? And like you could just really do with a very cold glass of water or something. But like, you can't be asked to get out of bed. So you just lie there and you're just dreaming about this glass of water or like glass of fun or something. Don't know if anyone else gets that feeling, but I do. I'm weird. We yeah, stream sort off this March and April, like you remote. I will be joining your stream after mine, whenever mine ends. Wait, we haven't been streaming nearly two hours already. Oh my god, we have. What? I look, I look down, it's nearly 11 o'clock. What? Nah, I'm also 3 1. I'm 3 1 down. I just, I just can't be honest. Do you see Botman sign for Newcastle, the centre of the place for Lille? I did, because it's all over the place. You know what I'm sick of, though? The, the Batman references and that. They just stop. Starksy, it's cringy. Stop. I literally tweeted that out. Just stop with the Batman references. There's no need. If he flops, then it'll just haunt me. Maxine donated. Yeah, if someone donates 449 quid, I'd go berserk. I'd do anything. Anything they ask. I'd literally do anything. I will send them private videos of my cock and balls for 449 pounds. If you want to see my penis, donate 449 quid. This is a FIFA stream. What am I doing? <laughs> Joe fucking... Joe's there on his phone getting the 449 quid ready. Send you the banyard out. Oh, that's class. That's actually class. Hi, Kieran, put, uh, can you put links into the chat, Kieran, if you can't put your Twitch there? Go and do it. I have to go sleep now. No, but that almond, mate. Thank you for coming around. What's the Twitter? It should just be Aaron Davies. Aaron Davies 04 or something like that. I'll get it up. Only 499 quid, one. Um, it's Aaron Davies 004. I know if I can, I'll get the link. Hold on. How many followers you got now? Five. Let's go. Uh, share. Can you copy links? Ah, oh, you can. Nice one. I'll just put it in. How long are you streaming? Uh, I don't know. I'm it. I don't know. Probably until like half eleven or something, maybe. Or maybe twelve. Right, half time, we're gonna have to make some changes, like. 
Jacob, thank you for the follow there, Paul. Right, I'm just going to put... Um, Kieran's Twitch. Uh, right, that should be a clickable link, I think. And we'll replace pin message over. What? Gillespie, a good goal? What? I don't, did you just ask if Mark Gillespie is a good goalkeeper? Uh, no. Sign Patrick Schick. It'd actually be a decent one, but Jesus is good, so... That's my guy, Snape Pollock, you remit. How long you stream for? I just said, um, probably half 11 or like 12 o'clock or something. Depends. I'm really enjoying it. I didn't even realise we've been streaming nearly two hours. Honestly, I didn't. I'm going to go and have a break after the stream. I'm going to go and get a drink and that. Have a, have a slash. I'm dying for a piss. And then, uh, I will, will be back on to things. Trying to beat United. What a save. And then you come back on, yeah, yeah. Would Mark, would Gillespie be a good goalkeeper? Of some, no, he's not good, man. He's like 68 overall. He's a good, like, third choice goalkeeper. But you don't want him starting in that. I just realised these have had Dean Henderson in this whole game. And I'm losing. Oh, that's brilliant from Saliba. Why has the ball went up that high, though? Jesus, McTominay has just completely wiped them off the bar there. I've struggled. I've struggled. United are a pain in the backside. Four down now. Oh, no. He's missed it. Do you drink beer? Uh, it really depends which one, but not for my go-to drink if I am drinking. I haven't had a beer in like three months or something like that. So I very rarely, re like, rarely drink it. Usually just go to his cider, to be honest. Has anyone heard of Aspel before? Cider. I don't know if he's what of. Um, but uh, Aspel cider is very, very, very nice. I'm getting into me fucking wines as well, lads. It's weird. I'm a weird guy. What's your favourite pint? It has to be San Miguel. I don't like, like, you know, like, Colin Foster's all that. I don't like that, Malawi. Uh, I just kind of get into it. I've tried to force myself to drink it, but I can't. But San Miguel is, like, actually enjoyable. Are you 18? I'm not. I'm 17. I'm 18 in November this year, though. So, I'm not... How, how many months is that? Like, five months off 18, probably? I'll tell you what, my 18th... Birthday party is going to be an absolute toss up. I'm getting my entire street and more just partying in the street. Why not? Instead of having a house party kind of thing, we'll just party in the whole fucking street. Be class. Anyone, anyone can come. Anyone. If you want to come, my team to go. Just, just come along. I've heard before, let's go. Yeah, Summer Girl is very nice. Aspel, unbelievable cider. So nice. Nice and strongbow, and you guys know I like strongbow. I only started having Aspel like two weeks ago as well. It was it was when I went to uh, fucking afternoon tea. It was last weekend. The first ever time I had Aspel. It's so nice. So I'm watching Urente. Urente would be a good, good signing, I think. Like you said, play along, oh to God. I'm 4 1 down here, pal. What's going on? If you try my dad's wine homemade, it's banging. You know what? That's actually not even, like, surprising that your dad makes wine. With his being Italian. That doesn't surprise us one bit. Have you ever played pool? I, d I have, yes. Mind you, I've always won my own pool table. Because I only play it when you go abroad. Because that's really, like, the only places that have pool tables nowadays, really. Um, But I... I've always won my own pool table. Like I've, I've got the, like I can afford a pool table now, but 
But I've just got nowhere to put it, really. There's nowhere in my house where I could build a pool table. Or, well, I could at least put it. Like, I could put it in my room, but you'd have no space to, like, look and use the cues and shit. I, I don't know what this was. I don't know what I'm doing there. Career mode suggestions, wolves, if you haven't already done wolves. Pro people are probably sick of hearing about me saying wolves career modes, but it's just really good career mode to do. Decent amount of money, decent starting team as well. So you didn't even need to make that many signings, really. Man, this has been a very, very poor game. We've been absolutely outplayed. 4-1 loss. Now what I could have done. Now what I could have done. Wow, the stereotypes. What, like I said, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised whatsoever. Are you streaming FIFA more? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, our well, best player was Martinelli by far. Ronaldo, two goals, two assists. Involved in all the goals. It's not what you can do, really, is it? Dumb Wolves give me another one. Uh, Chelsea Some rebuild. Arsenal. Like United. Sheffield Wednesday. Do a Sheffield Wednesday one. Nottingham in the Prem. Give them a 50 million take. Well, Nottingham Forest to be decent, though. What time? I don't know. I won't have a set time, to be honest, because I've got some videos to go through tomorrow. I've got the game and setup video. I've got the Leeds career mode video that will be coming out tomorrow. So I've got so much stuff to be doing uh, content-wise tomorrow. So I don't know when the stream will be out. That's on me calling you a magpie or something. What? That's got nothing to do with the fact that your dad makes fucking wine. It's not really a stereotype. A stereotype would be like, oh, I have fish and chips every night for me tea or something. I don't know. I know what you can not be though, but it's just not how things work, is it? Right, we've got Everton next. Away from home again. We're away. Form is horrendous. It's out the window completely. But we are going to need some changes in the team. Now, Saka was pretty good there. Let's bring Tommy Asu back in. Anasio. Right, that's going to be the start lineup. I'm going to go get a drink. Uh, I will be back in about five minutes. I think you should do a team in Bundesliga like Dortmund or something. Well, we've done Hertha Berlin before United. So, all right, I'm going to go get a drink and everything. The stream will be back on shortly, people.
Hey man, I'm sorry if I was uh, a wee longer than I was meant to be there. What's the chat saying? Uh, if you send some of my pictures, if I send you some of my pictures and insert, yeah, I'll look at them. Well, it depends what they are. Could be some dodgy pictures. In a better mate. Nay, by that Tyler, mate. Thank you for coming around to the stream. Appreciate that. I can't play that horror game. But look, there I got another one. How can you not play it? Petri, mate. Hello, welcome to the stream. By Broger. I think I've got him on my show list, you know. So, possibly. Possibly we're good. Mate, this Pepsi's too nice. Doesn't let me load it up. Oh. Ah, that bother were until dawn. Oh, no, actually, no. This is a different thing. Like, my face cam wouldn't work well until dawn or something. I don't know why your game won't load up, though. Which one's that? Is that Lea Zofia? I kind of hope it is, because I, I want to find out what this other game is that you got. A psychological horror game. Because I've watched Lea Zofia before. Good save art from Pickford. Is the audio one? Oh, it is. I was going to say... Or wasn't for a second. Oh, it's Lazar Fiat that doesn't load up. Oh, that's good then. Well, not good for you because you want to play it, but. Have you played Outlast? I played Outlast 2 on the channel. As a playthrough of that. That's nearly a year ago now, people, you know. The Outlast 2 playthrough. It's generally nearly a year ago. It's crazy. It's, um. I think it was in August last year. Pretty sure. So. Go on, order guard on that. No screen graphics looks too real. Hey, I'm, ex I'm excited to see the stream. Oh, come on. Check Tossin as well. You joking us. It's no good, that. No good at all. Oh my god, now we get it. Oh lads, come on. We're not getting outplayed by Everton today, are we? We've already had tossing score against us. Can't be having any of this. I didn't even make that many changes. Go on. Vieira. Oh, he went for the diving header. What's he doing? Stay on your feet. Martinelli taking it alone. Any goods? Go on. Oh, come on, ref. What fucking linesman? Why are you putting your flag up there? It's no in it. Martinelli. Lovely dink. Jesus, why is he placing it? Put power on it. Chicken scrum, I will. I will at half time. Oh the gods, perfect delivery that. Oh Nelly's not in the box this time. Oh that's lovely. Good save. It was a pretty poor head overall from Jesus though. Pickford seeming to be hard to get past, you know. Now he's England number one, but See, I'm like 82 overall on the game. Not the best keeper. Is that like it though? The white grey is hot as all over. They've somehow called a foul there. I swear, I didn't even touch the ball. As in, like, that's what would usually stop it. Go on. Jesus. Drive past the defender. Come on. I know you're not too fast. But you've surely got the pace. Nah, he's fucked it. How, how is he managing that? His use is fast on that, surely. Like, why has he only got like an 81 pace? It's like Nabry in this. I think Nabry's only got like 82 pace. Like, he's so much fast on that. Good win from Anasio. 
Odegaard. On was left. Dinks it over. Jesus is miles away. He's absolutely miles away. Party wins it back. Odegaard. We are getting outplayed by Everton's midfield alone. The midfielders are just having all over. Unbelievable stuff. Go on, Tierney. He's done well, but the pass out's terrible. I think Aaron Hickey's better than Tierney, you know. No, bro. Nay, no, brother, Grant, mate. Thank you for coming along to the stream for a bit. Hope to see you in the stream tomorrow. Oh, it's good from Tommy. I'll see that. Perfectly delivered. Ref's not going to give us time. Of course he's not. Of course he wasn't. A very nice drink, though. We'll be out tomorrow. Let's go, Grant. I'll see you then. Then uh, I just need to go through my phone for a beat. <laughs> Wait, is that the psychological one? By the way, Joe. If you're still in this stream, that thumbnail with Ben Yedda is unreal. That's actually so good. Grant, mate. Pictures of glass. I cannot draw humans like that. That's really good. Good shit, man. I just need um a better thumbnail for this video. Mate, the Ben Yedda thumbnail's unreal. That's so good. Um it's gonna put in the three. I'll put in the three. That's gonna be issues. <laughs> Horror games are always good to be playing through them on. Like you said, I need to do some on my channel again. Um, should be able to get some done soon, like, I would imagine. Right, get that thumbnail on. Nice one. Thanks for them, Drew. Very good thumbnails. Always here to help. Nice ones. Great. Get back to business. Second off against Everton. We're 1 0 down currently. I'm gonna start. No bother, Kira, mate. I'll be joining your stream, like I said, after mine. I'll probably play one more game and then I'll be in. Go on. Jesus. Oh, why is he placing them? When he gets into the box, he always places them. I don't know why. The ball. Yeah, and he with a strong win. Yeah, right. Thomas. It's off Martinelli. I don't believe that. Shall Pedro, mate, welcome to the stream. Just looking at my picks, bro. No, brother. No bother at all. I don't know how you draw humans like that, though. That man always shite. Let's guess you take an art in school. Well, you do art in school. Jesus. There you go. When you don't play, so you just put your foot through it this time. 1-0. Ring him up, lads. Gabby Jesus. Freddy. Well, I know you, Freddy. I don't know why you changed your name to João Pedro. But I do know that you're Freddy. I don't do art in school, though. Well, I don't know how you've learned how to draw, like, humans like that. It's class, though. Go on. Go on. Saka. Oh... I was keen doing that, how I? Out of all the centre box. Probably one of the most poor in the Premier League's doing that. Saka now. I'm not gonna be able to get it through with Odegaard. Could get it through with Gabby. He's put it into Odegaard anyway, he was offside. That's what I was aiming for the ball to go with Gabby Jesus. What career are you doing next? There's always a vote for the next career mode, pal. 
There's always a poll that goes up at the end. And people vote in the poll. Which one do you think's best? Uh, the Ronaldo one. Best young star in the prom. Is he though? Is he? Time data perfection. I have as well. Jesus! I love him. I love him so much. 2-1. Gabby Jesus. What a player. What a player. Been doing it since I was about five. Let's go. But yeah, there's always a poll at the end of each career mode uh, that votes for the next career mode. So... Go on. Jesus. He's off. Could have timed that a little better, I'll be fair, like. What a player. And I knew he'd be this good. Like, I knew he'd just be... He's a... He's just a natural goal scorer, really. And apparently he's only ever had 15 goals in the Premier League season, which is still really good. I think he's going to break that in this career mode. I honestly think he will. Alright, um, Smith Rowe on for Martinelli. Banyada's so good. He's alright for my Leeds career mode. I wouldn't say he's so good, but like... That is, he's just like Jesus, just a natural goal scorer. You know, you're guaranteed a goal with him kind of thing. He never really has a bad spell. Which is kind of the player that he is. You can always... You can always... Trust him to score a goal for you, kind of thing. You can always rely on him, that's the word I was looking for. It's a poor pass that. It's not even the pass that I wanted to make. All round poor. Oh, Tommy Asu's been good today. He's been good. He's just been flattening Richarlson. Oh, to God. What a run. Jesus for the hat trick. Oh, great defending. That was unbelievable from Oh, God. Great piece of skill. Jesus. Oh, he's off. Chance for the subs to come on, at least. That was so good from Odegaard just before. So, so good. Alright, Smith on for Martinelli. Elmas on for Fierro. Maybe we lost subs. They've come on a bit late, like. They're not even going to get a touch of the ball, really. I'm so happy they called the offside there. I think you should do West Ham next. There is going to be a poll. So if you want West Ham, ask for it to be in the poll next. What a ball. Saka with the ball in the box. Shouldn't matter. Referee should be blowing the whistle anytime soon. Please. Is he going to give them this last chance? And Asio does well. And that's it, 2-1 win. We well, went 1-0 down, so I'll accept that. I'll accept it. Three points away from home. Do you see if we go for your training? Think I found the ball, I grant, mate. Appreciate you coming around, man. I'll be doing uh, one last game, people, and then I will be going off myself. His Usman man the match, of course. It's a really good performance from him. God, I can't believe this stream's went over so fast. We've only been streaming 2 hours 15. You know what, I need to do this somehow as well. Um, another charity live stream. I need to do a charity live stream. Now that I have an actual donation box as well, which helps. So if anyone wants to actually donate a charity, then you know where uh, the no donation box is. I, I need to make it so like it's a donation box that goes straight to charity though, because the money like super chats go to me. And would people trust me for giving the money to charity? Of course, I, I know personally that I will, but I don't know if people will trust me. But yeah, I'd love to do another charity stream this summer. Any advice for playing on the wing? Mate, the last time I played on the wing was like seven years ago. Uh, all I'd say is spend a lot of time getting back and helping out defending. Because that's what I've done. I mean, it depends how your manager obviously asks you to play. But uh, 
Wait, who are we playing? So I'm, I, a, a lot of my game playing out on the wing was coming back to help the defence. I very rarely helped up top. It's more of a wing back technically than... Um, but yeah, it just it depends what... Listen to your manager. Listen to your manager and see what he wants. Um, and just listen to all the words that he's he's putting in here, really. It's what you need. Well, I'm going to play Hickey this game, like... Hickey in... Um, should I drop Saka? I might drop Thomas Porter if I almost will do that. But yeah, like I said, just listen to your gaffer. Uh, see what he asks for. But with a winger, the majority of what you get told is do all you can up front, obviously, helping out with the attack, but you just non-stop sprint as a winger. You're coming back to help the defence, you're going up to help the forwards. Uh, you're non-stop working constantly. Uh, I also wouldn't tire yourself out. Like, if you're tired, ask your manager to just sub you off. I used to do that a lot. When I got to the sideline where he was, I was just like, oh, mate, I need to come off. Like, to have a breather and stuff. So you do that. Obviously, if this is Sunday League you're on about, you can have as many substitutions as possible. So I used to get subbed on and off, like, two or three times a game when I was playing on the wing because I just got so exhausted but I was only off for like five minutes or something and then I went straight back on <sighs> Sack has tried his best there like how much he can really do in that situation I mean, he's got multiple defenders around him I don't think I'm going to struggle here, you know. Tell I've completely wiped them all there. Not even going to boost for it, though. Start humping. Bro, what? Go on, Jesus. Jesus, that is a delicious ball. Elmas. Still got it. Still got it. It's lovely football from the Arsenal. Vieira with the shot. Foster with a save. Plays for Tottenham in real life now. Oh, oh dear God, that is delicious. Elmas. Sends Martinelli. He's overdone it. His player's going down left, right and centre. Elmas! Good save. Great save. We'll go short again, I think. Oh, oh to God, he's so good. Ah. Couldn't get that delivery on point though. So I've have some decent little youngsters on their team, like. It's a good ball, that. Saliba's done beautifully. Hickey now, lovely recovery. I need to play Hickey in these kind of games, like, give Tierney a rest. Fiera. Slip Saka in. Saka, what are you doing? Fuck's sake. Sorry about yesterday. I'm still coming about your matches. Let's go, Liverpool, man. Uh, Liverpool dude, actually. Uh -huh, funny. Now, we're welcome back to the streams, man. I wouldn't say sorry about yesterday. There's nothing to say sorry about. It was just... It was just constant about this Jack Grealish transfer thing. And the Harry came on that just didn't happen. So... But it's good, but... It, you can debate this stuff. I like having like football and debates and stuff in me chat. It's a good crack. It's something to speak about in the comments. What was the first name of the Vieira guy called? Uh, it's Fabio Vieira. They just signed him in real life. He's been canny on this game, honestly. Oh, his use. Brilliant from Saliba. Saliba's good. Vieira, lovely pass. Odegaard, turn, shoot. Foster has been incredible this game. I literally just can't get past them. I'll have an in swing on this corner. Jesus. Foster's getting in. He's like six foot seven. How do you expect us to win the ball from a corner? 
when he's that tall. Practically impossible. Oh dear. Strong. Hickey's done well. I like Hickey, you know. I wish I was still in the Carabao Cup so I could play him more. Uh, and obviously, you don't start the FA Cup until January, so. Saka, Jesus. He's going to need more support unless he can go all the way. He's gotten past all the defence that he needs to. Ball into the box, but there's no one there. There's no one there, as of always. It's pr a pretty poor first half. I've had the opportunities. What's the most common non English name in English football? It'd have to be some Brazilian name like Gabriel or something like that. But is that not class as an English name, really? Or like more of the Brazilian? I don't know. Right. Uh, press after possession loss. Forward runs. All the players possible in the box. Uh, get into it. Vieira's already went up a rating, which is good to see. He's went up two. Vieira starts it at 77. He's 79 overall right now. I need Elmas to start performing though, man. He got his first goal earlier. He's been alright. I just need... Well, I say he's start performing. I need to start playing him more so he can perform, really. So it should be the other way around. I've kind of laced into him for not doing well. He has done well. He just rarely plays. Because the other midfielders are just doing so well at the moment. I look at Vieira. Putting graft in for this team. Saliba as well at the back. What a centre back. Saka. Elmas. Out wide. Martinelli. Tries to deliver. There's. Maybe those. Yeah. That kind of one. Yeah, again. Mainly comes from like Brazilian. That kind of like South American kind of name. That's Odegaard. Vieira again, he's on to something. Saka. Oh, that is a lovely ball. Jesus. Fake shot. Fraser forced us to be the best goalkeeper in this game. How on earth are you saving that? Oh, my God. Stop it. He went outside the foot there. That would have been an incredible goal if that went in. That's a good ball, that. Saliba's done well. Man, the match performance from him. Gabriel off the ball, that one. Nice one. Come on. A few more opportunities in this game. Surely a goal's going to come from somewhere. Oh, to God. Lovely ball. Jesus. Finally. We'll get that goal. Fraser Forster has been beaten. It's Gabby Jesus again. I feel like I'm going to be doing that for every few minutes. Because Jesus is just scoring so much. Do you think De Jong will sign for United? I don't think it will go through. Um, but I mean, the, the transfer window ends in September. So there's still so much time for that deal. So surely it goes through. With all the rumours and stuff. Surely it gets to a, a higher point than just rumours. They've got an equaliser already. It's took me the whole game to score, and then they can just get an equaliser that fast. Like, fuck off. I hate that. Like, I have to put so much effort in. They can just go ahead and do that. Crazy. Right, subs on then. Subs are on Smith Rowe and Selamakas. I've not been impressed with Smith Rowe, like. But Vieira's not done too much this game. I can't sub Odegaard off, can I? Elmas. There is Odegaard. Back in Elmas. He wants it back. Couldn't get a pass off. Couldn't win the ball back either. Struggling here. Yeah. Hickey has just took Armstrong out. We need to be careful. It's a yellow for Aaron Hickey. Unless he has Manchester on medical tomorrow. I doubt it'll be on a Sunday, mate. I'd imagine it'll be on the Monday. Because all the physios and that will be off work tomorrow. When they've been Sunday. I'd imagine. So it'll probably be Monday. 
Martinelli. Jesus. What a player. Gabby Jesus might have just won with a game. Call him up. Everyone doubted the man. He's nearly got 15 goals already this Premier League season. Everyone doubts him. Lovely finish that. Let's bring Tierney on for the remainder. I don't want Hickey getting sent off. What a finish there from Jesus. Alright, Tierney on for the rest of the game then. Just need to chill now. We've got the winning goal, surely. See, I say we've been bad. I think we've only lost one game, you know. It's just been the draws that, like, take a lot of points off us. And we've drawn so many. I think we've drawn more than we've won. How has that just happened? Well, it looks like the game isn't done then. This game really just does not want me to win, does it? It just really doesn't want us to win. What are the chances of the AI scoring a goal like that? You know what I mean? Unbelievable. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> He's done it again. Gabby Jesus, is that a hat-trick? I think it's a hat-trick. Gabriel Jesus, the best striker in the Premier League at the moment. Unbelievable scenes. Surely Southampton don't bring this back. Surely they do not bring this back. Odegaard and Jesus has to be the best duo in the Premier League right now. Odegaard is so good on this game, people. Honestly, what a player. He's so talented. And Jesus, like I said, is just a natural goal scorer. 15 and 16. As the most he's ever had in the Premier League season is 15. He hasn't even played... They're going to bring him back. He hasn't even played half the season yet. And he has 15 goals. If they actually score here, the game's scripted. The game does not want me to win this game. Could you imagine if he scored an overhead kick? They want them to win. Salamak is out. You've got to blow the whistle, pal. 96 minutes in. Blow the fucking whistle. Blow the whistle. There you go. Nearly six minutes added on to the additional time. Jesus, hat trick. Two assists from Odegaard. Them two link up so perfectly. Kane and Son are possibly the best duo they'll they score all the time for Spurs. I wasn't on about in real life. I mean, Jesus and Odegaard hadn't even played together yet. I went about in the game, lad. But Son and. He K and all probably the best duo in the Premier League in real life. They probably are. Like for goals and assists, tallies. Definitely. I wouldn't even say Mane Salah like are up there. Goal and assist wise. Uh, what a finish to the episode though. We are just outside of the top four, two points behind our North London rivals. Jesus is now time with Ronaldo on top goal scorers in the league. I told you, just all out goal scorer, natural beauty. That's what we love to see. At the home of the Arsenal. Anyway, people, I'm going to be ending the stream there. It's been a good one today. It's been such an enjoyable stream. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. Um, he's flying to Manchester tomorrow. Yeah, you'll be flying there tomorrow, staying over, I'd imagine, complete his medical and that, and they'll make it official on Monday, definitely. I was going to say it's unlikely they'll do something like that on a Sunday. Anyway, what an episode it's been. Yet again, I think we've only lost one game of Arsenal. In 16... No, we've lost three. Okay. I was going to say. But still six draws. Damn. We've conceded a lot as well. We've also scored quite a bit. It's all right. It's all right. Obviously, top fours were in. Well, European football in general is in. But if we could get top four, that'd be even better. Uh, anyway, people, thank you so much for the support yet again. Tomorrow, there should be a Leeds career mode video. Possibly a game and set up to our video and the stream. So we're getting three videos until tomorrow, which will be good. Um, see you tomorrow Donut Gamer see you tomorrow love the stream let's go Pepe Kid man I appreciate it 
Uh, also, thank you so much, Joe. I don't know if you're still in the stream, but thank you so much for the donation. I really do appreciate that. It, I do not ask. It, it was 79 pence, but it still means a lot, man. It, thank you so much. I, I don't know what much else to say, but the donation button thing is there. I'm not asking anyone for donations. You don't have to, but it's a really nice gesture, and I, I really do appreciate it. But like I said, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll announce in the morning what time I'll be streaming. I'm sorry I didn't do that today. I completely forgot to announce it. I will announce in the morning what time I'll be streaming, people. Anyway, have a good rest of your night and uh, have a good day tomorrow as well. Enjoy your Sunday, people. Peace.